So, hello, my name is Ima Ingermari Aikia, and I write in Northern Sami. Like uh, Wokotol, it is the uh, biggest Sami language we have. And in a way, I must say I'm lucky because I can have thousands of readers. But for example, uh, somebody who writes in Inari Sami or Skolt Sami, they have only 350 readers, possible readers, including those uh, like kids and others. Uh, I published six poem books in uh, Sami, and uh, some of them are translated also in other languages, like um, Norwegian and German, English, Hungarian, and uh, recently also in Bulgarian. And um, uh, my publisher is Dat, uh, and uh, it has an uh, office in Norway, and the publishers, they live in Sweden, and me, the author, I live in Finland. And uh, because uh, the money is in Norway, that's why uh, the uh, company is in Norway. And I must say that if uh, Norwegian Sami parliament didn't support also my books, even I don't live in Norway, I guess uh, none of my books would have been published. We depend so much on this uh, Norwegian Sami Parliament's money. Uh, in publishing in Sami, it's you never sell enough to get your money back. That's why we need that support from different places. Uh, Sometimes I get uh, maybe 1,000 euros or 2,000 euros from a Finnish Sami parliament. And now s somebody just whispered that, ah, you got 3,000, but it's not official yet. <laughs> and now it's very official. <laughs> I hope he was right who told me that. <laughs> uh, so that money would go to my next book, which is a novel for youngsters. And uh, Norwegian Sami Parliament already gave a support for that book, which made me very happy. Uh, then th there is an agreement between Norwegian Sami Parliament and the Sami Writers Association about writers uh, kind of salary, what we get from the published book. And it's different for poetry books and novels and uh, kids' books. And uh, I do get that also, even though I live in Finland and not in Norway. And I'm wondering that what can happen if uh, there will be people who think that uh, no, this money belongs to the Norwegian Sami writers, not to others. Then we are really in trouble. But I hope those people will keep thinking that we are one nation, one people, even we live in four countries. Uh, Finnish Sami parliament supports very, very little uh, Sami literature. Uh, for example, last year, uh, there was uh, money for culture, 176,000 euros. And uh, that is for all the Sami organizations and uh, events and uh, artists as well. And from that 176,000 euros, 143 euros went to those organizations and events. And uh, it means that there was 33,000 euros left for artists, different projects, and also for uh, working grants. And uh, it was divided between 13 artists from different fields, not only writers, so the musicians, and uh, even handicraft workers, and uh, so on. So it means that uh, we got three from three. 
300 euros to 4,000 euros, those grants. And for example, I must say our sh biggest shining stars in Sami literature now, at least for me and quite some others too also, is Niklas Hornberg. And this book, uh, which was uh, nominated for the um, no, no, no disc, what is it? Yes, for the Literature Prize. He didn't get any support for his poetry book, for that book which was nominated. And when I heard about that, I was so mad that how people, they don't understand anything. <laughs> but um, for the next book, Nigel Scott then also support. He had a grant for writing, but uh, not for the publishing. Mm. Uh, like there has been already talk about that the Sami literature is very little known in Finland. Almost nobody knows about it. And uh, very little has been translated also into Finnish. And like last year, because of that book fair in uh, Turku, where Sami literature was uh, one of the main th themes. Quite some books were translated into Finnish, but they were not, maybe one, two were published by Finnish publishers. But for example, my father made his own publish, publishing house and uh, published in Finnish two, two of his books. And uh, then there are some others also who did the same thing. So the Finnish publishers, they are really not interested. And in, in Turku, in the book fair, I was thinking that now media will be interested about our literature. And uh, it will be in the radio, TV, our newspapers and so on. Mm. I was very childish, expecting something like that. There was little, yes, but uh, when Sophie Oxanen was in two big pages, Sammy literature was like this. But that's something which is going on year after year. And also, when I got this um, award for uh, kids' uh, culture, how do you call it, from the government. Uh, and also those clowns who work in the hospitals who got the same also together with me. So I knew it already that uh, the Finnish media is going to write a lot about these clowns who work in the hospital with the kids there. And I was in one sentence, also the Sami writer, blah, 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 got the <laughs> so it wasn't a surprise that it was it went like that again. Uh, it would be really really nice if media would write something about us. For example, my last poem, poem book, Aurinko Jokerma, Piaivashchuhka Kaava. I was very active and sending. Uh, press releases to all the uh, newspapers and radios and uh, in north and also here in south. And uh, I got critics in one newspaper and uh, of course the Sami radio and the Sami newspaper, they wrote about this book but there are no critics. And, um, also this uh, Kiel Tomato, who has critics in the uh, internet. I wrote to them three times asking, okay, when are you going to do something? I, of course, I sent the book al also there. So are you going to publish something? Oh, yes, of course, because we, uh, uh, we are going to do 
this because it's Sami literature, something rare and so on. I'm still waiting. One and a half year gone. And it's not a new book anymore. Mm. Uh, what has been supporting me to go to the world with my uh, books and literature is uh, Philly, Finnish Literature Exchange. Uh, they've been sending me in different places uh, for book fairs and uh, happenings. In, uh, sometimes in Johannesburg, sometimes in Washington, and so on. And I'm really grateful about that. Uh, and they've been also supporting uh, the translations of my books and uh, also publishing in those other languages. And, uh, when I think how we can, how we could do and change things, uh, what happened to Sami Film was that uh, the government gave 100,000 euros to Sami Films two times. And of course it helped a lot. And uh, now I'm thinking what would happen if Finnish government would give 100,000 euros only for Sami literature? That would be something. And also, uh, of course, uh, it would be helping us to publish in Sami, but also in other languages and take us to many places. But because Finland, Finnish people, they really don't know mm, much about Sami people. They know nothing about Sami literature. So it would be really good to go to different places to read our literature or poems and other things to tell about our literature. And I know that there is uh, Lukukeskus uh, who organizes, organizes uh, the visits of authors to different schools and the libraries and so on. I've been there on the list for some years now and uh, I have been having one visit and it was in Inari. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you also touched upon a, a question about language specific grants that sometimes they are also needed, something that. Uh, any questions, quick, short questions about This is just a comment. Uh, Nilas Holmberg stood there uh, uh, last year because uh, we invited together with Culture Contact Nude five of the candidates, uh, that year's candidates, and he made a great impression. I understand that he's your idol, he is mine too. Cuckoo, okay, <laughs> sorry. Y okay, uh, a little comment and um, a, a question in general to everybody. The, the, the first thing, is the comment is that uh, all over the world, the press is just interested in things that sell. And I remember, for example, that I was very, very pissed off when uh, in Peru, that a lot of uh, friends that are uh, poets publish their book, nobody talks about that. But then there was this girl that killed her mother and was in prison, and she got an interview. And I said, that, okay, what? You, you have to kill your mother to, <laughs> to have an interview as a writer because she uh, wrote a poetry book. So that's completely unfair, I think. But meaning that it happened all over the world, unfortunately. And the second one is that she talked uh, about uh, what happened if uh, the Finnish government gave 100 thousand euros to. I wonder if the Finnish government have, have given 
already 100,000 euros to any kind of literature. I suppose that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. <laughs> Any other questions, comments? Uh, we have a media representative from Ule. Do you want to comment on that? <laughs> sure. I'm here to make an interview with <laughs> Inger Mari. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, can, I can see your critique, of course. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't take it personally, but but yeah, I can I can see that uh, there are a few like well, Ule Radio has uh, its its own structure. Of of course, you know the the Sami uh, Sami uh, uh, how do you say it reduction uh, the office in, in 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 the north and and then more like like national. Uh, 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 programs and, and and channels in 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 mostly in south and I, I think the division is 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 it's ridiculous uh, uh, in regards of like literary criticism or uh, or, or something like that. Uh, it's uh, yeah. Uh, we hope to uh, improve that. <laughs> I, I I I can s speak from my 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 personal self. And here is another media representative. No, I'm not media representative. I'm from Lukukeskus, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> yes, Kiltomato and Lukukeskus. Yes, I'm responding the critique to one Lukukeskus, and Lukukeskus, the reading center, we uh, respond uh, uh, requires of orders clients. So I'm very sorry that schools and libraries and so on they are not so interested, but we are doing our best. <laughs> And Roxana, quickly, and then that's the last call. This is in general. I, I wanted to know if there is anybody from Helsinki Sanomat or Hustenbladet here from media, or is very sad? May, maybe, yes, it's very sad because it should be some of them. Thank you. Okay, uh, now it's 12 to 4, and... Uh, we have time until five, uh, and we have a discussion part from half past four to five. So uh, what do you feel? Maybe do you want to take a five minutes break and go get some?